Since the leak of the U.S. Supreme Court's decision overturning Roe v. Wade, there has been a lot of attention put on the courts, especially in cases involving abortion law. Now, in this case, the Florida Supreme Court says the release of this decision wasn't a leak, rather human error. On Wednesday evening, this one-page ruling was posted to the Florida Supreme Court's website. In it, the court rejected an emergency motion filed by abortion clinics. That motion sought to have the state's 15-week abortion ban put on hold. But just hours later, that ruling was vacated. The court issued a separate order in which it explained the ruling was issued, quote, in error, and that the motion remains under consideration. In a statement, Paul Fleming, director of the Florida Supreme Court's Public Information Office, said, quote, the order released Wednesday afternoon was an error of the clerk's office, a human error by staff. The order vacating was filed and publicly distributed when the error was recognized. There's a lot of public interest in this case, especially after Attorney General Ashley Moody filed a response to the emergency motion on Tuesday. In that response, Moody challenged decades of court precedent that link the state constitution's privacy clause to abortion access, calling the decision, quote, egregiously wrong. One of the plaintiffs in the case is a woman's choice, a Jacksonville-based abortion clinic. We asked the clinic's president and CEO, Kelly Flynn, whether she's concerned the clinic suing will get a fair shot in light of the accidental ruling. In a statement, she told us, quote, we were disappointed when we heard the decision. However, this type of error is not normal, although it does happen. We won't speculate at this point, so we will continue to wait for the final decision. And a final decision on this matter will likely be our first indication as to whether the court is leaning towards potentially stripping away Florida's unique constitutional protection for abortion access that stood since 1989. For local coverage you can count on, downtown, I'm Jake Stofan, Action News Jacks.